beautiful. Half the Cooley Conference is playing football this fall, Viroqua being one of them. Dwayne Zletsky enters his second season as the head coach of a program that went through some adversity last year with a 1-7 record. Count. Yeah, that's true. But several of those losses were close, including just a six-point loss to Prairie Duchene, who ended up going all the way to level four in the playoffs. Now, Coach says there's plenty to take away from that season and channel into this fall record wasn't great but I thought our competitiveness was and our determination and so we just have to build off of that cut back on scheme a little bit add a few wrinkles here and there and I think a lot of kids just kind of like the direction we're moving to a um, little bit more passing a uh, little bit more stuff that they see on TV well they were visiting lost and if you're not on the guest list tonight you couldn't come in like an <laughs> exclusive nightclub <or> <laughs> Well, Viroqua opens the game with a three and out, but a well-coached special teams is quick on a muffed punt to get the ball back. However, their drive would stall. Now, Craig Armstrong of Mawson averaged just 54 rushing yards a game last year. Well, how about 40 of them right here on this play in the first quarter? The breakaway speed, he's in for their first touchdown of the season. Now, the Golden Eagles defense making it a rough night for Viroqua. Josh Bell in the backfield for his second sack of the night drills him down. So, Austin with the ball again, this time a connection through the air. Spencer Lehman to Jack Lumen. He jukes a defender on his way for 27 yards, and the TD puts him up 21-0. Later in the second, Viroqua's pass is going to get picked off by the Ironman Jack Lumen. He's got a nose for the end zone tonight. This pick is his third score, and it wasn't even halftime at that point. Viroqua does break the goose egg late, but this one was all Golden Eagles, 48-6.